Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the 2021 Chevy Blazer. This one is the base. This is the 2LT and this one does not have any packages. The only thing it has is the 3.6 V6. So let me go ahead and show you all the features this one has. Under the hood, there's going to be a 3.6 V6 that is connected to a 9-speed automatic transmission. This engine produces 308 horses and 270 pound-feet of torque. And the fuel economy numbers on this engine, 19 in the city, 26 highway, and 21 combined. And this 3.6 V6 is a part of an option. Basically, it is a almost $1,200 option on this 2LT trim. If you guys are curious about the color, the color is called Summit White, and it does look very good on this Blazer. And honestly, for a base trim, it does look very nice and aggressive, but I would definitely go with different rims just to not make it look very base trim. Come to the front. I think the front looks very aggressive. The grille is finished in flat black. It does have this chrome trim in the front. I think it does look good. Chevy bow tie is finished in yellow or gold. And it is nice and big. And for the headlights, the turn signal indicators and the high and low beam are in the bottom. Daytime running light is located up there. For the high and low beam, they are LED. But for the turn signal indicators, they are halogen. And as I said, the grille is finished in flat black. And there is an opening in the bottom as well. And it does have this gray trim in the bottom. But overall, guys, I think the front of this blazer looks very very aggressive here is a side view of this blazer and the side view looks very good but the only thing that i really don't like about the side view is those frames but you could change uh, those frames by adding a package or by adding uh, different rims if you want to so chevy does offer a good amount of packages and uh, rims the size of those frames they are 235 65 18 and uh, as i said not a big fan of them i would definitely go with something else there is a good amount of plastic in the bottom blazer is uh, written right there on the front door it is finished in chrome and for the mirror the mirror is finished in the same color as the suv and overall i think the side view looks very good the only chrome trim is or chrome is going to be the blazer letters or the blazer badge right here on the side and everything else is finished in flat black and gloss black but let's go ahead and move to the back and i'll show you the back view of this blazer here is the back of this suv and it does look very good for a base trim for the tail lights, I love the blacked out look. The running lights will be LED. The reverse and the turn signal indicators are halogen. But I really like the style of the tail lights. Chevy bow tie is of course in the center. It is nice and big. Here is the wiper. And third brake light is located up there. And it does say blazer with all wheel drive all the way to the left. And here is the backup camera right underneath the Chevy bow tie. And this opening right here is for the lift gate button. Not a big fan of this plastic in the middle. I don't think it does look that good. But the lower portion of the bumper is finished in flat black. A gray trim in the bottom. I think it does look good. And for the exhaust tips, the exhaust tips are connected to the exhaust pipes. And I honestly don't think those are exhaust tips. They're, they almost look like they are part of the pipe, but they are welded on or they're attached to the pipe. So I'm not exactly sure if they're really some exhaust tips or just the pipe itself. But anyways, everything looks very good right here from the back for a base trim. Here is a key does look good it has a really nice weight to it. it does have some chrome around the binds and it does have three binds on it unlock lock and a panic button and uh, overall the key looks good feels good and it has a really nice solid weight to it but the only thing that i really wish it did have is a remote start button so i really wish this base trim had a remote start for thirty-seven thousand. i think chevy should have made remote start standard on the blazer to open the lift gate you have to unlock the suv twice and then you have to open the lift gate from this button right here. For 37,000, I really wish it did have power lift gate. It does have a handle right here. And honestly, guys, the inside is very big. From the outside, this blazer looks small, but the trunk space of this blazer is very big. 
and it is nice and deep and there is an LED light on the left a handle to drop the left seat down another handle to drop the right seat down and there is another LED light on the right which is nice it does have a hook and a 12 volt right here which is nice and storage place on the right and another one on the left and let's see what's underneath underneath there's going to be the spare tire with the jack and the jack tools a ton of storage place next to the spare tire and there is even more space or more storage place in the back so there is a very good amount of space right underneath let's go ahead and drop the seats down and let me go ahead and actually drop both the seats down and I'll show you how it looks like with all the seats down all right so I just dropped the seats down and with the seats down there is a ton of space in this blazer and honestly as I told you guys I did not expect it to have this much room in the back but it is nice and spacious and uh, overall I'm very impressed with this amount of space this blazer have but well, let's go ahead and move inside this SUV and I'll show you how it looks like from the inside the door handle is finished in the same color as the SUV it's going to have a button on it this button will take care of locking and unlocking the SUV here is the front door panel and the front door panel looks good this top portion right here is going to be plastic I really wish it was that synthetic rubber material I love this gray trim I think it does look good door handle feels very light door locks this whole thing right here is going to be um, nice and soft even this is nice and soft so that's good and in the bottom this is plastic which is fine small storage place another storage place right in the bottom it's a good size uh, storage place speaker is located in the bottom of course and there's going to be some chrome trim I think it does look good and the window switches mirror controls everything looks good the front window is automatic up and down and as I said, this whole thing right here is nice and soft and I really like the white stitching. For the seats, they're nice and comfortable and uh, the design looks all right for a base trim. And they are powered seats, which is good. And the driver's seat does have lumbar support. But let's go ahead and move inside this blazer and I'll show you how it looks like from the inside. so here is the interior of this 2021 Chevy Blazer again guys this is the base trim and honestly it doesn't look that bad for a base trim here is a steering wheel it does look good and uh, it's not wrapped in leather but it does look like it's wrapped in leather it is that synthetic rubber material it does have an opening right here in the bottom which I love some chrome actually a very good amount of chrome around the buttons and right here in the bottom and of course the Chevy bow tie is finished in yellow and all the way to the left are going to be the safety features this is the uh, distance between you and the car in front of you when you set the cruise control the adaptive uh, cruise control and on the right is the voice command uh, phone controls and this will control the screen in the middle you could go up and down left and right and overall the gauges look good and very easy to understand and read and that screen in the middle does display a good amount of things on the left is the automatic high beam with the turns of gun controls and on the right is the wiper controls for the front and back i love the design of the ac vents it does have some chrome around it and even right here there's some chrome around the gauges brightness controls are right here you could raise up the brightness control from this button slash uh, switch wheel and here is the headlight controls and in the bottom is the e-brake and here is the engine start stop it is located very high and uh, i really like the fact that chevy did not hide it right behind the steering wheel so it's very easy to see engine shut off and it does have the emergency light button and does have some brushed aluminum across the dash which i think looks very very good and for the screen it is an eight inch screen but honestly doesn't even look like an 8 inch screen the way how the dash looks like the AC vents and everything looks big it makes the screen looks very small I think it's fine to have an 8 inch screen 
for a base trim, but it's not fine to have an inch screen for a $37,000 SUV. But overall, I think it does look good. It does have CarPlay and Android Auto. You could control the climate control from here, so you could change the modes, AC on and off, temperature, fan speed, and it does have a home button right here and a home button right here few buttons right underneath the screen and let me go ahead and show you the backup camera resolution is right but it is nice and wide here is a home button it is a hard button and uh, overall I think the system itself it's nice and responsive but the screen definitely looks a little bit on the smaller side it does have a glove box button traction control let's go ahead and open the glove box and it is a massive glove box Climate controls are in the bottom, and honestly, they are a little bit hard to see uh, sitting uh, like in the driver's seat. So um, you could see the buttons, but I really wish that Chevy put them right here. And this is actually very nice and soft. So this is padded. That's good. Here is the uh, here is an LCD screen that will display the temperature. So if you rotate this. It will change the temperature so this is very very nice i think this was introduced first on the camera if i'm not mistaken the modes off on does have a sync function auto function here is the fan speed as i said you could control the fan and the climate from the screen or you could use those buttons right here and of course same thing for the other side since it has dual climate controls and there is a storage place in the bottom, one USB, one USB-C. And this middle console is finished in this gray uh, trim. It does have some chrome around the cup holders and some chrome around the shifter as well. And here is the shifter that will control the nine speed automatic transmission in this blazer. It does have plus and minus. It does have a low gear. And this is wrapped in leather. It does say Chevy on it right there, which is a nice touch. Link keep assist and does have uh, the four-wheel drive and uh, the modes so let me go ahead and show you it is in all-wheel drive mode right now sport mode off-road mode and the last mode is the tow haul mode and it takes a little bit of time when you rotate this it takes about like probably two or three seconds for it to show on the screen and as I said it does have link assist a little bit of storage place and the armrest it's nice and soft inside there is a very good amount of space it is nice and wide and deep at the same time a 12 volt inside and for the rear view mirror it is nice and small the bezels are not too thick right here they're going to be the OnStar SOS a few buttons for the lights it does have some LED lights which is nice and here is the glasses holder and for the visor the visor is a little bit on the thinner side it is hard and inside there is a massive mirror with some led lights and they turn on very nice and slow here is a backdoor panel and the backdoor panel is the same as the front this top portion right here is going to be plastic the plastic door handle is a little bit on the lighter side but does feel nice and solid this whole thing is going to be wrapped in leather it is nice and padded the arm uh, the armrest is nice and soft here is the window switch it does have some white stitching right here which looks good plastic plastic a little bit of storage place i really wish this was a little bit higher for the storage place to be a little bit deeper so you could store more things in it speaker in the bottom and for the back seats back seats are nice and spacious leg room is very good and the headroom is very good in this blazer there is an armrest in the back it is nice and soft two cup holders two AC vents one USB one USB-C and that's how the front of this blazer looks like I hope you guys enjoyed this review of this 2021 Chevy Blazer 2LT I would like to thank Mike and Chevy in Milford Connecticut for providing me this blazer if you guys are interested and if you guys are around, make sure to come check them out. I'm going to go ahead and put the information and link at the bottom of this video. And if you guys would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. And as always, I'll see you next time.